Welcome to another high event on High TV, your luxury channel. I'm here at the Monarch Imperial this evening for the UCL graduation ceremony for the year 2022. My name is Dima. Stay tuned with High Events to find out more. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the directors, management and faculty of uh, Universal College Lanka, UCL, let me extend a very warm welcome to you to the second UCL graduation ceremony of the University of Central Lancashire in Sri Lanka. This is your day, a day of celebration for all your hard work, untiring effort, dedication and commitment to reach a milestone in your life. My heartiest congratulations to you and to your parents who have supported you throughout and made many a sacrifice on your behalf. Mr. Paul Rowe, who's here from the University of Lancashire. Welcome, Paul. Thank you for talking to us. Now, tell us a little bit about the international partnership that you have going on with uh, UCL. UCL and UCLAN have had a partnership since 2016. We're extremely proud of the partnership here. We collaborate closely with Universal College Lanka, and we've been working initially with two programs, International Business and Software Engineering. And so far we've had two graduating cohorts of students, the second one today, which we're very proud of. It's a very, very successful partnership, and we're really proud to provide opportunities locally for Sri Lankan students to study a UK degree here in Sri Lanka. Sounds fantastic. Now, tell us the importance of having an international business degree for students to go out and compete in the global uh, market. Nowadays, it's extremely competitive. So students are going out into the global marketplace against graduates from all over the world. So the importance of an international business degree is twofold. One is the intercultural side, knowing how other markets will react when you present or negotiate with them. And secondly, I think the concepts on how the business world works. So it's extremely important to have that competitive advantage for students when they are working in the global marketplace to give them opportunities to work, not just here in Sri Lanka, but also in the UK or the USA or wherever they choose to follow their careers in the future. Well, now we were talking about advantages. So what are the advantages that a student here uh, from UCL would get being associated with UCLan itself? I think it's that, that intercultural aspect. I think um, a UK degree maybe is taught in a, in a slightly different way. It focuses particularly on analytical skills, which are key to working in business. So working out what are the issues in front of you, what are the solutions, and how to get around those problems. So I think working on a, a UK degree 
provides that competitive advantage in terms of how you work with other partners, but also that intercultural aspect, which is key. How do other parts of the world think? How do I need to approach this um, negotiation with a particular partner? And then understanding um, how to do business in, in that part of the world. So Paul, talking about the future, what sort of opportunities are there for the students who are in association with UCLan and UCL? We're very excited to be offering some new programs. So we've just had validated business and marketing and also uh, we're looking at digital marketing as well which will start in September 2023. We're bringing on board electronic and electrical engineering which is a very exciting new development, it's a new area for the partnership here. And then looking to the future, we're looking at master's programs in accounting and finance and applied data analysis, so applied analytics. Um, so the future's bright, we've got lots of new programs, lots of new opportunities for here for students who want to study in Sri Lanka and hopefully we're going to look at the, the wider student experience, so trips to the UK and um, working on projects with UK students as well to collaborate to build those intercultural skills and international business skills. So the future looks bright, we're very excited to be here and to further develop the programs. I have Zikra here with me, one of the graduating students here at uh, UCL. Congratulations, Zikra. And uh, tell me, what made you choose UCL for your education? UCL has been, it, it was just very new when I joined, but also they had like a very promising alumni, uh, as in there was one batch ahead of us, and it was very promising. I had a few friends, and also the lecture panel was amazing. Um, and not forgetting our Dean and Mr. Gihan, who have always been a rock solid support. So once you enter UCL you feel very welcome and at home. That's how I ended up at UCL. Wonderful. Uh, tell us something unique about UCL that you've noticed through your period there. So as I said before, UCL is very unique because it feels like home and especially the ambience and how you can see the lake from every class. It's just like very like a like an open door culture so you can just talk to whoever you want get things done and there's not sort of a hierarchy which would limit you and your potential so that's something very unique about UCL also now there are lots of students who are out there who have just finished their education and they're looking for um, different avenues for their tertiary education why would you recommend UCL to them out there so in terms of um, the contemporaries, I have been, you know, checking for other places, right, before I started my degree. One thing I noticed was the lecture panel is very supportive and you can reach out to them at any time. I mean, not untimely hours, but then at any time they are there to support you. And there's an amazing lecture panel and it's always like very student centric where other I'm not sure about the other places, but I always felt that UCL is student centric and it's one of the best places to be at. I have Nicola here with me. Nicola, congratulations. Yeah. Well, uh, let's ask you first, how has your experience here at uh, UCL been? Oh, it's been fantastic. Uh, very supportive environment. The, the subject itself, what I studied international business, was a very fulfilling subject. I learned a lot. I grew a lot as a person, so I really enjoyed my experience here. So, out of all the unis out there, what made you choose UCL? So it was actually a combination of two things. It was a combination of word of mouth. I had friends already there and they get, had nothing but a glowing recommendation. And then, uh, also the fact that it went, when I went there, I really liked the environment. I felt like I could thrive there. So that's why I selected it. So now you've already said you've got friends there. How was your peer group there? Oh, my peer group is excellent. I, I feel like I've made lifelong friends. We've all been very supportive of each other and I, I'm really lucky to have met them. One last question, how have your lecturers been towards you and how has the experience been with them interacting, getting all the knowledge that you want and the support that you get from them? So um, my second year was actually in the middle of the pandemic, the height of it, and my lecturers were nothing but supportive. I mean, it's not easy when you have to you know, do everything online and they did their best to make it as engaging as possible. So I'm very grateful for the support they've given us. Samira here with me who's beaming with joy. It's a lot of hard work that has gone into it and uh, now you've uh, successfully completed. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, so Samira, tell me who has your role model been? My role model is my dad and I would say that he's the person who actually molded me to uh, be where I am right now and be successfully able to complete my degree program while also achieving a first class degree and uh, achieving a silver medal for my exceptional academic performance. Sounds fantastic. Now tell me a little bit about the highlights that you've seen uh, throughout your UCL program. 
Yes. So this degree program has actually helped me grow uh, emotion, I mean, mentally, physically, and also like uh, make myself understand that a degree is not just into academics, but also into play and every other extracurricular activities that have been provided by UCL. And there was also a module that uh, was. Um, that's called the transition to work module that gave us the opportunity to actually go into the field and experience the corporate world firsthand and show us that uh, we are not only academically focused but also field focused in terms of uh, getting experience and studies. Sounds fantastic. Now you've come out with flying colors. Future plans. Are you thinking of a master's degree? Yes, I am planning to go abroad to do my postgraduate degree in international business itself, which is I have Chanel here with me who's just here after being graduated. Congratulations Chanel. How do you feel about today and today's experience? Very, I uh, feel very nice actually. Four years of hard work, challenges, uh, finally with the uh, graduation and uh, degree. Yes. Well, sounds fantastic. How has your journey at UCL been so far? Uh, really supportive uh, for the last four years actually with all the challenges with COVID even. Uh, lectures were supportive to support us and feels good and uh, very supportive uh, journey so far. Um, I believe you did an intern year as well. How has that experience been? Yeah, so uh, I did the uh, internship uh, during the COVID-19 actually. Very challenging but I had all the support I need um, and uh, I completed it successful uh, right. One last question, what's your plan for the future? Uh, I started my startup right now and uh, plan on doing that. It's been a wonderful evening for the students here at uh, Monarch Imperial. We wish all the graduates all the very best. Until we see you again with another high event, take care and be safe.